Okay guys, we're back here at Gateway Classic Cars and as you can see today, they have a beautiful, super bad Cadillac Eldorado sitting in here. Look at the color on this car. It's green, it's not forest green, but it's a beautiful green on this thing, man. We're gonna do a nice video on this. I got, I walked in and I couldn't believe what I saw. This thing is immaculate, very clean car, has a beautiful two-tone, and I swear to God, you can't find anything this clean. And they got a lot of clean ones in here. And this is a beautiful Cadillac. First of all, let's take a good look at this, these headlights. Even the headlights got those classic covers over them. This, the grill, the classic hood ornament. Let's get up close and look at that beautiful lady on there. It's silver streaking, wings going all the way back to the top of the hood. Beautiful Cadillac. Coming forward. I love these. It's like it's a rim. Custom type of rim. But before you had those rims with the hubcaps, you know, because it's front wheel drive. And that, that's new to me. Never seen those type of rims before, but that thing's nice. Let's look at this roof. As you see the different color on here. Cadillac make these things real nice, man. You know, you got to see these in movies and as I saw them in all kinds of movies. You know, whether regular people would drive them, superstars would drive them, pimps and players. <laughs> and I used to see a lot of these in black exploitation movies and all other kinds of movies during the 70s. If you look in, this back seat is beautiful. Cadillac emblem, I'm pretty sure that's aftermarket. But you never know what options were available back then. I'm sure somebody in the comments will let us know. You got that dashboard cover there. Headliner is great. Tire skirts. But it's a single exhaust back here, it's not dual. You know, but I've seen some Eldorados like this with dual exhaust before. You know. And then we come to this classic vent that General Motors were putting on these cars. So some of them were like up further for the ventilation as far as the cabin and how people say all it did was cause rainwater to get caught in there and they would rust out inside because of it. Because water would collect in the trunk. That caused the problem. General Motors was trying to make ventilation a lot better in these cars back in the day due to people that were smoking and you want to have more fresh air coming to the cabin, you know. But for them to provide an answer, they end up creating a problem at the same time. So these cars, for what I remember as a child growing up, I got to riding a few of them. My father had one temporarily. They were nice riding cars, these and those Lincolns. That was always the battle, who had the best riding car? 
And these Lincolns had excellent riding, so did these Cadillacs, you know. But no matter who had the best riding vehicle, it was always about comfort and luxury. Because you was getting that with these American cars, man. You were getting that type of ride, that good feel with these American cars. You know. All the options you could want in here. One twenty on the dash. These things are front wheel drive. You got your climate control right here. All the nice little options the Cadillac could put in here. You got in here, you know. And it was always that beautiful extra room down there because you didn't have that transmission mode for the transmission to go through the middle of the car. So you always had some space. You know, three people up front, three people in the back, and these Cadillacs. That's what type of room you had. And these things could haul. All depending on what size motor is in here. I know some of these Cadillacs had the 500s. Let's look at some of this badging down here. As you can see, El Dorado, 8.2 liter. So it's got to be the 500 that's in here. Yeah, that was a big motor for these cars, man. That 500, like people used to tell me, you couldn't touch that 500. In acceleration, these things would get up and go. But it took all that motor to move this car with a full uh, load of people in it. Yeah. Well, I don't have any specs or price range on this as of yet because this is a new arrival. But as soon as they get the information, I'll be sure to post it for you guys. All right. Kind of like Eldorado, guys. Later.